Welcome to this week's edition of Channel 6 Scoreboard. I'm Brittany Breeding, joined by Chris Caldwell and Michael Deer. Justin Woodard said that the UCA Bears won't need any extra motivation for this game against Stephen F. Austin. How do you think the Bears who played for Conk are preparing for this game? I think the players that played under Coach Conk are preparing a little extra this week. The freshmen, they don't have any idea about this, but the sophomores through seniors, they built a relationship with Coach Conk. He left them for whatever reason, and that's a little extra for this game. And I think it's going to be big because UCA needs a fire in their belly. They need this game, this emotional game, to put together that four-quarter game we've been begging them to put together for weeks now. And I think it's going to be great because it's a road game. This defense needs to be fired up. Jonathan Woodard is going to get those defensive linemen fired up. We need to have an outstanding game on the defense. But this game, in my opinion, it could be a little weird. It could be muddy. I think because both sides kind of know each other in a way pretty well, there might be some things that don't work out as well as we thought would have in the early earlier part of the season. It could be a little bit closer to a game. When you're recruited by a coach, it's like the best thing in the world. I mean, it's – they come to your house, they take care of you, you get to go out to dinner, you get to go to games, you build a relationship. And for especially Woodard, you know, Woodard's hitting that end of the road for college football and Coach Klonk was everything for him. You know, he's the guy that brought him to UCA. And, you know, to lose that and still not know the reason why, because I don't know about you, but I, I don't know the reason why Coach Klonk up and left. You know, that's an extra incentive. Not to mention SFA and UCA don't really like each other anyway to begin with. It's never been a, you know, lovey-dovey feeling between both schools. I mean, they don't like each other so much that even the cheer squads are rivals. How many times do you hear that? The <laughs> cheer squads are rivals. So it is going to be a muddy game. It's going to go back and forth, and it's it could get a little bit dirty at times with, you know, you know maybe Coach Conk knows a player's weakness, and I'm not saying he's going to do that. I'm not saying he's that kind of person. But, you know, if, if times get desperate, who's to say that he won't be like, hey, that guy right there, I know for a fact he does this, and just boom. That's right, yeah. Next thing you know, we've got somebody that's either down or we've got an interception. And Conk knows Ryan Howard. Let's be honest. He was he was there last year when Ryan Howard came out of nowhere and almost helped save the Bears' playoff hopes. So I think it'll be an intense game. I think the players that played for Conk are going to be really, really enthusiastic to play this game. And even some of the freshmen who were recruited by him before he left and that's decided true. to stay at UCA. So it'll be a very intense game, and it'll be one that I'm for sure going to find a way to watch or somehow see some of this matchup. So. This week's preparation will be very key for both teams. I mean, like you said, they know so much about each other. Let's That's the whole dial down, down passing game against Nichols. There's, there's going to be some things that neither team have seen from each other on tape. Oh, yeah. This game is – you're not they're not going to save any tricks. This and, is going to be – And it's also – it's a swing game for UCA right now. 100%. You're 2-3. and three. You know, you've lost some games that are very close that you shouldn't have lost. Honestly, at this point, UCA could be sitting at 4-1. Are they? They could be just a miracle team right now at 5-0. I mean, they're hello. not that far. You're right. They're, they're not, not that, that far. far. They're a few touchdowns away from being 5-0. and And it was even said in the press conference, if a few plays would have went UCA's way, they'd be undefeated right now. And there wouldn't be a question that they'd be going to the playoffs because they know that they would have that momentum to defeat SFA, to defeat your old coach, and – possibly put an end to his playoff hopes and his conference championship hopes, that's a huge deal. So these players want to take all of that from not just SFA, but Coach Conk, I feel like. So 2-0 and in conference, 3-3 three and three on the season, sounds a lot better than 1-1 one and 2-4. One and and what are your score predictions for this game? Ooh, I have UCA winning the game. I, I, I guess I don't really pick them right anyway, so what's it even matter what I say? Because I, I had them beat Missouri State. I was pretty kind of close on the Nichols game. But 31-24, UCA wins. I think this this is the game the defense comes up with two big stops at the end. It could be a game where whoever has the ball last wins, a whole other Missouri State game. Side note, UCA, Jay Stinker, we need a good game special teams-wise. we got to have – when he's called in for a field goal, we have to make a field goal in this game. There, there's no opportunity – there's no left opportunities that should be left on the field after this game. They have to give it their all. I have UCA winning by a touchdown. Please be right, please. <laughs> <laughs> I also have UCA winning this game. And Ooh. Jay Stinker, very important part of that game for Central Arkansas this weekend because – Hopefully it's not like the last time UCA went down to SFA and there was a torrential downpour and they lost the game that they weren't <laughs> supposed to lose. But 
I do think it's going to be a very emotional game. I think it's going to be mid-range score, just like you. Yep. I'm going to give it UCA 38, SFA 24. And that's going to be a big part of Jace Decker. He's, got, he's only got to make one field goal in that scenario. He just has to make one. You know, you can score 35 points without getting a field goal, okay? He's got to score one field goal and make some extra points. But the way that he kicked against Nickel State was unacceptable, missing some pretty decently close field goals, and, you know, that could have changed a certain a, a few drives for UCA in that situation. So, I mean – Something tells me special teams is going to play a big factor in this game. Well, if you it might look be a at the return, return or something like that. Look at the returns because SFA yeah. is averaging almost 30 yards of return given up. And with the return game that UCA has, that's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, you said it. I'm running 170 yards to get 75. Well, guess what? Nickel State return average was a lot lower than SFA's return average. So look at the special teams play because – UCA special teams is very, very good. They've got a good return man on punts, a good kick return guy. Not to mention that line can get through and block a few punts here and there. So they even blocked an extra point. Yep. They blocked an extra point this special last teams. game. So special teams could be a turning point. Good one. Yeah, and we'll have a good show to talk about next week. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. That'll do it for this week's episode of Channel 6 Scoreboard.